Hi, I'm Shijie, a PhD student at the University of Queensland. Today is my honor to present our recent research work named Graph Evading for Recommendation Against Attribute Inference Attacks at the Web Conference 2021. And the first of all, I'll give you a brief introduction of our work. With the explosive growth of e-commerce, customers are shopping with online platforms more frequently. As an effective solution to information overload, recommender systems automatically discover the most relevant items, items for each user, and thus improve both the user experience and the business revenue. For this reason, recommender systems have become an indispensable part in our daily lives. And to enhance the recommendation performance, especially for those fresh users, it's a common practice to incorporate said information about users. During user re registration, some service providers may persuade users to complete questionnaires about personal demographics to facilitate user profile. But a 2018 survey showed that more than 80% of U U.S. Internet users were concerned about how their personal data is being used on Facebook. And among Facebook users sharing less content on social media, 47% reported that the privacy issue was the main concern. It means that the utilization of user data containing personal information often sparks serious privacy concerns. And with growing public awareness on privacy, a dilemma is presented to e-commerce platforms. Either they proceed with such sensitive data precise despite the high risk of privacy breach, or, or they allow users not to disclose their sensitive attributes but provide a compromised recommendation performance as a result. So in that sense, a sound privacy guarantee on the user side is highly desirable, which avoids uploading the raw user features to a recommender system and also helps increase users' willingness to share their sensitive data. And another privacy issue is that a user's personal information can be accurately inferred about her or his interaction history. And such personal information includes age, gender, and even political orientation. And those inferred attributes can be utilized to link users across multiple sites and break an anonymity. Such attack that infers users' attribute is called attribute inference attack. But for the existing personalized recommendation, the results can easily be used by those attackers since they are strong reflections on users' preferences and are increasingly accessible via surveys like friend activity tracing. And it's also alarming for many GCN-based recommenders. In those recommenders, graphs are constructed by linking user and item nodes via their interactions. However, although existing GCNs are advantages in bending a node's own features and its high-order connectivity with other nodes into an expressive representation, they expect very little consideration on user privacy. In fact, the field of privacy preserving recommender systems that are resistant to attribute inference attacks is far from its maturity. And recently, the notion of differential privacy has become a well established approach for protecting personal data. Essentially, DP works by adding noise to each data instance, thus masking the original information in the data. And there are also many works that attempt to adopt DP to the existing recommender systems, such as DPFM, DPAE. However, these approaches are designed to only prevent membership attacks, which infer users' real ratings in the data site, and are unable to provide a higher level of protection on users' sensitive information against inf inference attacks. And the most relevant work that is designed to resist the inference, inference attacks named the RAP. However, it suffers from two major limitations. Firstly, as the 
design of RAP requires a fixed attribute inference model its resistance to any attacker is unguaranteed. Sixthly, although RAP assumes the existence of user-sensitive attributes, it only treats them as ground truth labels for training the inference model, but does not incorporate such important information for recommendation. So, in our work, we aim to learn a privacy-preserving recommender system that can recommend key products of interest to each user, while any malicious attacker model cannot accurately inform users' sensitive attributes, such as gender, occupation, and age in our case, from the user's interaction data, including both the user's historical ratings and the current recommendation results. And this is the overview of our model named GRI. In GRI, we build its recommendation modular based on the state-of-the-art GCNs to jointly exploit the user item interactions and the rich study information of users. To achieve optimal privacy strengths, we propose a novel dual-stage perturbation strategies with DP. Firstly, at the input stage, GRI performs perturbation on the raw user features. On one hand, this offers users a privacy guarantee while sharing their sensitive data. On the other hand, the perturbed user features will make the generated recommendation less dependent on a user's true attributes, making it harder to infer those attributes from our recommendation results. Specifically, we introduce a local differential privacy for feature perturbation, where each individual's original feature vector is transformed into a noisy version before being proceeded by, by the recommendation module. Secondly, we, inform, we enforce DP on the optimization stage for, of GRI so that the recommendation results are less likely to reveal a user's attributes and preferences. To achieve this, we resort to the function, functional mechanism that allows to enforce DP by masking the loss function in the learning process, different from methods that applies perturbation on recommendation results. GRI defends the inference attack results citing obstacles for learning meaningful associations associations between user profiles and the recommend items. And to evaluate the performance of GRA in terms of both privacy protection and recommendation effectiveness, we conduct experiments to answer the following four research questions. And in our experiments, we use the publicly available VLANs data sets. In the collected data set, each user is associated with three sensitive attributes, the gender, age, and occupation. To evaluate our model's robustness against attribute inference attacks, we first build a strong adversary attacker that contains, contains a two-layer deep, uh, deep neural network model. And to evaluate the recommendation accuracy, we adopt two popular matrices and use F1 score to evaluate the performance of privacy protection. And the, this table shows the F1 scores achieved by the attribute inference attack model on all the baselines. Now here, lower F1 scores show higher resistance of the recommenders to attribute inference attacks. From this table, we can from this table we can see that GRI consistently outperforms all baselines in most cases, indicating that our model is able to protect users' privacy and produce recommendations with strong privacy guarantee. And we also observe that GCN has the worst privacy protection results because it directly incorporates the node features with sensitive uh, information. And finally, compared with the conventional recommender systems that model user item interactions such as BPR and GCM, the models that make use of differential privacy such as DPAE, DPMF, shows obvious, obvious priority in resistance to attribute inference attack. 
and and this table shows all models performance on personalized recommendation firstly the graph outperforms all privacy preserving baselines in terms of both hik and in in the cgik in addition in addition compared with rap Right, achieve recommendation results that are closer to the state of the art GCN. Thanks to the dual stage perturbation setting where two sets of privacy budgets are used, a relatively higher privacy for user feature perturbation doesn't significantly affect the recommendation accuracy and is sufficient for high level attribute protection. Finally, GCN achieves the best performance among all methods, which showcases the strengths of GCN based recommenders. And we answer question three by investigating the performance fluctuations of graph with varied global and local privacy budget epsilon, epsilon triangle and inviting dimension D. Uh, from this figure, we can know that our GRI outperforms RAP in terms of recommendation accuracy, and the performance improvement tends to become less significant when epsilon becomes quite small. It further confirms the effectiveness of GCN-based recommendation component in our model, which have a GRI present recommendation quality in practice. And although reducing the value of privacy budget epsilon triangle in the input feature may help the model achieve better performance against the attribute inference attack, GRI generally achieves a significant drop on recommendation performance with a smaller local privacy budget. And finally, the recommendation accuracy of GRI benefits from a relatively larger dimension D, but the privacy protection performance is not always lower with large D. And also to uh, better understand the performance gain from the major components proposed in GRI, we perform ablation tests on different degraded versions of GRI. Each variant removes one privacy mechanism from the dual stage perturbation function. And from this table, we can see that the results confirm that the functional mechanism in our model can help a GCN based recommender satisfy privacy guarantee and yield the comparable recommendation accuracy. And the raw user features that are not proper, properly perturbed may lead to a high potential risk in privacy leakage. Therefore, the joint effect of perturbation strategies in objective function and input features are beneficial for both recommendation and privacy protection purpose. So overall, we address the increasing uh, privacy concerns in the recommendation con context and propose a novel solution GRI, namely differentially private graph convolutional network to protect users' sensitive data against attribute inference attacks and provide high-quality recommendation at the same time. Our proposed GRI uh, normally incorporates differential privacy with a dual-stage perturbation stage strategy for both the input features and the optimization process. As such, GRI asserts user privacy and offers better recommendation effectiveness than existing privacy preserving recommenders. Finally, we conduct extensive experiments to evaluate the performance of GRI on real-world data. Comparisons with state-of-the-art baselines show that GRI provides a better privacy guarantee with less compromise, with less compromise on the recommendation accuracy. Thank you.